For more controlled and accurate work, the bench-mounted machine is far more suitable than hand-held machines. Let's begin with an overview of the various parts and functions of this typical model. All parts are supported on a column, which in turn is attached at precisely 90 degrees to a base. This base is firmly attached to the bench with bolts. Affixed to the top of the column is the head assembly, which contains all the working mechanisms, namely the drive motor, which supplies power to the spindle. The spindle rotates the drill. The spindle is driven on this machine via rubber belts running on pulleys. A series of different pulley diameters allows for different spindle speeds. An operating lever provides the means to lower and raise the spindle. Spindle travel adjustment can be set on the depth limiting collar for precise drilling depths. The motor is controlled via an on-off switch. A belt tensioning lever provides the means for changing belt positions on pulleys. Work is supported on the work table. This in turn is attached to the column and can be lowered or raised beneath the spindle. The work table can also be swung from side to side and rotated. All movable points are secured firmly during the drilling procedure with clamping levers. A machine vise secures a regular shaped workpiece. The vise is attached to the work table with suitable hold down bolts. After the break, we shall demonstrate typical operating procedures for bench mounted machines. <laughs>